All right, ladies and gentlemen, all you wonderful people out there in the crowd, I hope you know what time it is. We are back with the biggest competitive Mortal Kombat 1 League in the entire world. And today, it is time for the three beast chat. Beautiful gameplay, beautiful commentary, and baldness. Fabs, how are we feeling today? <laughs> Why is he slandering himself like 20 seconds in? I love this. Yeah, I'm <sighs> feeling amazing though. I hope you guys are also feeling amazing. This is going to be a really good day. And... Let's get it. No, Let's Fabs, it. honestly, I mean, I updated the ranking today. As always, we say that every single season, I it is super, super close up there, you know, in the top 64 area. And before we take a look at the lineup, I actually wanted to take a little look at the ranking here with the community together, even though it breaks my heart a little bit. I have to say that, and you're going to realize why, Fabs. Maori Ooh. is sitting at the top of the leaderboard. And the problem I have with that is <clears throat> Maori is oh representing boy. champions of the realms, you know, in the big champions of the arena finale. And we cannot have that. We cannot yeah, we can I'm have sorry, Maori. I love you, bro. But someone needs to take that chain that off of right. you, my brother. You, you know who has to do it? Fick, who is another qualified player just for our team. You know, the new oh Kwan boy. on the block right after. The only difference between those literally 8% in terms of win ratio. So, Fick, I hope you win that match today because we gotta kick Maori of that rank number one spot but Fabs yes super super stacked the entire world is competing here every single day for that big big prize pool and today's card is gonna put a smile on everyone's face in my opinion we have so many different matchups a lot of sweaty matchups on top literally featuring the best players in the entire world and match number one is already going to be Makuran versus Dude. Skibbity Firex. Fabs, believe it or not, Firex is back and potentially back with a bang because a player like Makuran is not easy to beat. But I think our young prodigy, he has what it takes to make this happen. Tremor Sindel, of course. Of course. The new uh, hard to blockable <laughs> specialist. Oh, no, it goes Vera. Okay, maybe because of the Serena. On macro inside. I love it so right. much that we see so much Tremor lately in terms of cameo picks. I love the. I think Tremor oh, yeah. adds a lot of juice to a lot of different characters. Yeah, he's one of those characters where he really like rewards you a lot for getting that hit, and uh, he also helps you out in neutral a lot. So let's see how these boys behave on this matchup. Cannot wait for it. A little uh, SSD moment from the Wolf Fire Axe. You know Fire the special. Um, Fire Axe, it's time to win the arena so he can buy a new SSD, in my opinion. But let's see. Makuran, Fire Axe, one of our youngest players still, or young Minecraft YouTuber. I love to bring this up because it's, it's such a fun story. It actually. really started like that. We were like, this kid is a Minecraft YouTuber, 14 years old, shows up in here. Top 16 in the finale. Wait, what, what the hell is going on, man? But first, the, the level up from Fire X is incredible. Throughout these last months, literally becoming one of the best Sindel players in the entire world. That's how far I would take this, actually. Yeah, super good. Oh, Micron now holding back, going straight for the mix. That's good damage. Sweep, building up that pressure. Fire X finds a hit, and now Micron has no meter. So, it could be like a 50 50 sequence here. Big whiff from Akron. There we go. Fire X is saying, thank you very much for that whiff, but I'm going to take half your health bar for the whole mix. Oh, I think you might be dead. That's the thing, though. Against Farah, you have no meter, and she hits you with a reset. No, put the side switch. Perhaps Fire X, a little oh, bit what? too greedy, in my oh. opinion. Should have cashed out with the Fatal Blow, but didn't do it and pays the price for it. Please always use the Fatal Blow if your opponent has no meter or nothing. Just secure the round and move on. And now... He pays with his health. Round one goes to Macaron, and that's so heartbreaking. Like, yo. Sometimes you just have to spend it. You know, you don't you don't want to risk it versus a player like Makaron. We're talking about a final combat player here. We're talking about a several time back-to-back -back arena champion in MK11. This man is no slouch. Oh yeah, this guy is way too like he knows when you want to kill, he knows when you have to kill, and he knows how to rob you the, the perfect way possible. And Farak's playing the Sindel team. It's all about you get a hit. And get a reset and then go into Fera. Oh, Macron didn't punish that. Oh, that's trade combo. Yes, Macron. The homework from Fire Axe. So it's that, that nerdy trade combo you can get with him. And Fabs, so, so that's, good. you know, that's the highest level. Like a trade like that, beautiful matchup knowledge. Great stuff from Fire Axe. Oh, that was good. That was good. See, if he had won the first round, this would have been game. But bro had to be a little greedy on that last sequence. and. It's the final round, and this is going to be sweaty now because both of them have similar meter builds. 
And first, I, I think our community is enjoying it as well. We are sitting here on the level two high train, as always. Guys, thank you so much for the so generosity. Boring. As always, the community say, you know what? Dinner is on us today. Thank you so much. Dude, yesterday as well, the support was insane. And today, I'm, I'm expecting probably the same amount of support because these guys are going crazy, man. Might be guys, a reset? Guys, you have to relax here in the chat. Otherwise, Fabs is going to ask for a race, you know? So Please. calm it down a little bit, chat. <laughs> guys, drop like 10 carries on me. I'll be like, yo, I saw that donation. Nice check. Marker run. Ooh, is that conversion? Fire Beautiful X. stuff from Firex. Oh, man. Minecraft is here. And just like that, Makoran is shaking. The new kid on the block, Firex, is showing us why he is up there in the top 60 leaderboard right now. Very, very strong start. Let's see if Makoran can find the right adaptation for this. Oh boy. We might see a, a chameleon, maybe? Let's see. Because the J-Glaive would keep uh, Firex a little bit more grounded and also give Makoran uh, access to just that safety in neutral as well. But Sindel in the current state of the game is so scary oh, to man. face. It's funny that every single camera that gets released, every single meta, she always stays in that top five. Always. Chameleon. Chameleon, there we go. The Great Hall. So Michael is bringing the big guns. In the tournament, nor has any ever received an invitation. Round one, fight. Oh, already interrupting that 4Q from Akron, being a little greedy. That low poke is so good, especially it's a great button to contest Ashra's range, you know? Yeah, also just uh, like getting that first meter to start the game is amazing. Oh no, look at that opening. And I bet Macaron uh, knows how to punish like anything into like buttons into Farah on block. He can definitely punish that. I think in terms of matchup knowledge, both players are up there, you know, have a lot of experience. Of course, Makoran way more experience than Firex has, Ooh. but Lil Firex is on the grind, you know, spends a lot of time in the lab analyzing these matchups and we see it. You can't escape my blade. True. Yeah, Firex does have his own work done with Sindel. And as soon as Makoran saw that he punished that uh, Serene on block, he does not want to mess with that anymore. Oh boy. Did you reset? Oh no, didn't call the fair. That might have been an input error. Breaks the arm. Wow, that's rare. Rare seeing uh, Ash's armor getting broken. That's what Sindel does though. That forward one. Three button. Three hit button. Another one. These forward ones. <laughs> Michael Dude. is in jail, literally trying to get out of that corner. But Firex is saying, no, this is your new home. Floating right over this. He has answers on defense. Whenever like, you're in that situation where you don't know what button to press, Fire Axe immediately goes for a float, goes for like a back two, just to keep him checked. Oh, a lot of whipping going on. Might want to put a mid every time he hits a poke, the Fire Axe is mashing. Oh, those pokes, those pokes. He's abusing it, but as long as it works, I can understand that. Again. I see Macaron do like the knee after a poke. Oh no. That jail? Beautiful. Hmm, 44 in overhead. Humble. Oh, punishing the G Glaive. Macaron, I think I, I think a Nentari would have been like way more viable. But yo, it's damage. If there's no breaker. Firex tried to sneak in another reset, didn't work, but Makoran is in trouble. Don't get shimmied now. Oh, one more hit. The grab will do it. Yo, this is scary for Makoran. Down two games against the boy Firex, and right now he's looking in a really good position to take his set. So do you do you realize what's happening? Skimity Firex is looking for the freaking sweep here versus our oh, arena my. champion Makoran. Is that even allowed, Fabs? These kids, man, so disrespectful. I can't believe it. The new, era, the new era is crazy, I'm telling you. The chat is saying the Minecraft YouTuber is cooking right now. Firex out of control. And when we take a look at our leaderboard, Firex right now rank number 11 with a very, very strong season as well. Let me see if Makoran is up here as well. Perhaps do you see Makoran's name? Because I don't. I think Makoran outside of top 32 right now. He's always like that. He always sneaks himself into the top 64. 
He always does, right? I think Makura <laughs> goes for, you know, least effort, maximum result. <laughs> and that is just, as long as he makes top 64, it, it doesn't matter. He always makes it. He always makes it. And then becomes a problem on top 64. Nobody wants to face him in the back. Yet. Oh, hold on a minute. Fire action though. Doesn't go for the reset combos here. Oh, the so flash for the side switch. Every time Macaron gets hit in Dark Stance, he will always wake up into Astral Projection. That would have been a big whip punish. Contesting those folks really well. The whip punish. The patience. The footies from Firax. Reset. Ooh. No breaker. Late breaker. It is Ashra. I like the little dance from Marco here, try to open Firex up. No hit confirmed. Makuran, what is happening? Where for the 2-2 two, two string instead of the 2-1 there. And hasn't got his breaker yet. Wait, I think he can fight over him. No, he doesn't. Do you think if Firex would have kept floating, he might have avoided it? Yeah, might have. I think he might have uh, eaten it over the hitbox if you jump over her. Still breathing. How is that possible? Surviving an Astral Fatal Blow? Oh, avoiding the Glaive. Active so frames are crazy. Good fast block. It's the fast block. Oh, no fast block for you. Round two. Fight. Plus frames. Good defense from Fire X. Great awareness. Was a little knowledge check, I think. Oh, he's up blocking, making sure uh, he goes for the most punishable situation. But no, now working his way. And now he goes to the corner. Oh, the back dash buttons. Bro, that, Fire Axe was ready. That rip punish was so good. I'm not sure if that was actually on reaction or if he just threw it out. But regardless, the outcome is in Fire Axe's favor. Oh, Armory through. No way, fast. Yeah. You are your armor and the damage buff. 33 meterless, you are gone. Fire Axe on set point, sweet point against our boy Macaron. Oh, beautiful. Gravity is way too low. Well, if Fire Axe keeps cooking my arena players, uh, I gotta call his parents. First, we have to put an end to this. <laughs> we might have to unplug the whole laptop. <laughs> we have to ground him at least for two months. The way he's avoiding everything from Macaron is so scary. Hard knockdown. with the safe jump. It is safe. Can't armor through that. But I think he uses the armor to run away from the pressure. Not to, you know, punish. Ooh, can he convert? Beautiful. Has blade. Let's take it. Oh, Another my. Opening. Hit confirm and Makura. This might Out be it. of might be resources. It. Can't break. He has to hold all of this. And Fire X, he just keeps going. Bro, what the hell is this cash out? Sweep. Febs, I am literally speechless. And I think Fire X, with that last combo, literally broke the lobby here as well for a split second. That was an amazing performance. And once again, I have to point out what kind of caliber of a player Markoran is. And that is the perfect display of the level up we have seen from Fire X throughout these last weeks, Fabs. Very, very impressive. GG's to both. Damn, that was... That was crazy. Really high level gameplay, but Fire X was just able to... To sweep somehow is this boy's cooking every everybody yes. in the arena yes and uh, that's why uh, what i meant with i think firex is up there alongside the best sandal players in the entire world right now not only here in europe yeah. because i don't know he plays without fear and it is just very very great to see a newcomer having an impact like that you know firex is part of our events for firex correct me in the chat if i'm wrong but maybe four months and seeing him at the top of the leaderboard in a global MK1 tournament like that, I think that is an achievement on its own. It's, it's insane, it's insane. The boy's back. Yeah, the, the boy is back, stay. but we are back as well, Fabs, with another blockbuster for the community. Coming up next, Rinsler versus Fig, and we have the same situation again. OG player Rinsler, you know, literally competing in our events since the very early MK11 days. And Fig, 
right now I gotta boot up the leaderboard. Rank number two, one of the strongest oh, newcomers we have. And let's see if Fig has what it takes to keep up with one of the best CIS players. Rinsler, I cannot wait to see what character he's gonna bring. Round one, fight. So chat, Fig, one of our arena players who's gonna represent us in the big finale versus Destroyer. Oh, and those Quan pokes. Very deceiving when it comes to range. I see what Fig has here for us. Rinsler! Oh, oh, I like how he went from sending four there. Jeez, was that the Battle of Armor? <laughs> Did you see that? That was disgusting. Oh, what a pickup! Damn! He saw Rotor in chat and said, I'm, I'm, I'm inspired. The armor? Dude. No way! The immediate reaction from Rinsler! That was... I love that. I love that. Rinsler is challenging everything, Chad. And I think that's one of the ways you have to play versus Quan, you know? You only have two options. Option one is just run away whenever that portal is up, or option two is, you know, challenge the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah. The fact that he was inside the cage, and he went for the jab string inside the cage, because he knew a uh, Fig would have, like, a jab string or something, so don't let him move. Oh, boy. Now, the Quan pressure. He's doing K. Oh, I love put the cage behind him. Be careful. Not getting much health off of Rinzer, but he's building a lot of meter and getting good positioning. There we go. Trip guard with the armor. Beautiful. And we're still Get going. It. He Get comes Janet, and Rinzler ends up full screen again and has to work his way in. One jump. That's all he needs. Folk special doesn't work his way. Keeping the pressure up and fig right now. It's Quan. In that position where you don't know what to do, you know? One bad like one wrong button press and uh Lao gets his way. Oh the mix! The stack backs away. Fig has good good health, but I feel like two sequences of of Kung Lao. Oh, brother! Wait. Yeah, I said two seekers of Kung Lao when your health can go. As that's Quan Chi. It's tough. <laughs> Fig was dominating that round. But one dive kick and mix is all you need. I saw that coming. Brutality. Kung Lao wins. Rinslum, not impressed. And perhaps I'm, I'm getting distracted here by the by the shit talk between Rotha and <laughs> Young Skibbity well, Firex. They really try to go crazy today. Perhaps do we do we have to crowdfund something? Because I know Firex, very young player, doesn't want to put money up for it. Oh, perhaps are we God. working overtime for this community today? Are we, okay, okay, are we okay, doing okay. it? Are we doing it? I have chat? to pick up my sister at nine. <laughs> so first to five is all I can do. Wait, Fabs, first to five. Nine, your time? Yeah. G give me remaining so hours, Fabs. Give me remaining hours. In two hours and 30 minutes. Chad, are we crowdfunding a money match between Rotha and Firex? I have two hours and 30 minutes, chat. Your sister getting my sister. My sister is a <laughs> low teenager. I, I want a poll in the up. chat right now. You know what? I'm going to do it on my own. In the meantime, Fabs, we'll you commentary. Commentary time. Let's go. First take goes to Rinsler. And I'm seeing people really want this to happen. Oh, brother. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, three Arbor. minutes. Hold is up. Is Fire X down for it? Is Rotor down for it? Oh, man. He really said, let's teach that. All right. Oh, folks, the, the chat is already he starting died. to drop the subs for it. You guys are crazy. We haven't even announced it yet. Can you relax, compate? <laughs> Imagine you're YouTube, like, watching this. You're like, wait, there's a beef set happening. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is why the Twitch community is always, always pushing something. Oh, no. Try to break your armor. And he challenges immediately. Fig, I know you're cooking, but right now we need to close it out. What is that destruction of, of skulls that Quan Chi can offer? Oh, special. Armor available again. Try to challenge, and not your turn yet, Fig. Takes the round comfortably. 
And Renzo doesn't have many much meter to actually work with, so a lot with no meter, it's not as scary as you guys might think. Oh boy. He's gonna have meter now. He uses the, oh he used the meter immediately! But this is this is so fast paced, but that's what Rinsler is known for. And now look at the corner pressure. Fakir fighting for his life. Oh yeah, fast paced and constant pressure is what Rinsler is all about. Oh, gets the opening. That's punishable because the armor is available. And he has fatal blue as well. So not sure he's gonna spend it, but definitely gonna keep him at arms bay. Oh, beautiful stuff there. Challenging the armor with his own armor as well. And that's that one game apiece. Two. Wait, one game. No, wait, it's 2 0, right? Oh, yeah, you oh, yeah. running Rinsler. away with this. I thought Fig. Oh, bro, the thing is, Fig is playing super well. Round one, fight. All right, let's go. Fig is playing super well, but he's not able to close it out, man. Nice. Call the Janet again. Full screen presence. No, more skulls. He's floss blocking those skulls as well. Oh, I like he puts the bone trap in front of him. But Rinzer, just no fear, jumps over everything possible. Look at that. One hit is pretty much almost 50% of his health. He's in 100, by the way. Nice. Armor available. Oh, what's the side switch instead of killing? Very risky. But he got what he wanted. Very, very impressive. Uh, Daddy, you say Fire's got to stop work. Daddy, you, you're literally talking to a 50-year-old, okay? Get, let, let's keep it easy in the chat. <laughs> nice block. You gotta be so patient when you play against Lau. Oh, he used a Janet to tank the poke, and he went for his uh, low. I love it. Armor active? Yes, sir. He knows. I mean, he's playing Quan. He, 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 should be, he should be knowing that. DK, thank you so much. But no, let's get back to the commentary. Sorry, I, you know. But no, I'm back, Fabs. Everything is settled. We're going to host a bonus beef set at the end of the stream. But Fig is fighting to somehow get this reversal 3 0 going. Inversion. Bone trap is available, but goes away on blood. Block low. Block low. There we go. And there we go. That's game three. 2 1. Fig finally found his groove. Oh god, they're going crazy. They're all. <laughs> look at the number go up. Look at the number go up. <laughs> this is, it is actually ridiculous with this community. Whenever these guys just hear the word beef set, the community is like, you know what? Give it to me. Of course they want beef set. Of course they want beef. Anything that can extend the stream, they're gonna be like, yes, make them work harder, make them work longer. And there's also beef set where Rothor involved. Oh yeah, they need that 100 percent Is that a razor brimmed hat? There is Schenkenstein, nerf turbo, thank you so much. Round one, fight. Go. Fig right now, I think he found better uh way to approach this neutral. Has armor, didn't kick out yet. Oh, I think. Rinzer could have had a full punish there because the portal just had ran out. Nice. Check the Janet first, goes to the mix. Beautiful stuff. The staggers, damn, Rinzer offense is insane. I feel like Fig, uh, Fig has to armor out, but is Quan's armor good enough to escape that pressure? I feel like not. Oh boy, armor triggers. Oh, that is, oh, that is good. Fig is really, really trying to bring this back. Do we see the side switch? No, we cash out. Go for the full mix, keep him full screen, and these floss blocks from Rinzer are really like adding up. Life feed. Oh, the jump in could have been it. 
Oh boy. This might be it. One more mix. Plus, sweep, plus again. There we go. And Rinza takes it. Oh. Finish him. Rinsler sending a statement. We are talking about an arena champion at the end of the day. 3-1 over fake, but in my opinion, that was a beautiful showdown, Fabs, just like every single match we see here in these last weeks. The current meta, we talked about it enough. Super, super fun to watch, in my opinion. And Rinsler is saying, GG's, I'm drunk. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Let's take a look at our car together, guys. There is more. Coming up next, we have Redgrave versus Roomba. And in terms of matchup, this is going to be an interesting one. We have Nitara versus Quan Chi. That means we're going to see more portals, we're going to see more armor, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see some high damage combos in this one. Fabs, what do you think? Oh boy, Nitara is, is as chaotic as you expect. Let's see what happens. I need this, 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 this set to be chaotic as hell. Oh, it, it is definitely going to be Cardi. Let's go, let's go, let's go. By Delia's <laughs> might. I will blacken your soul till it's dark as night. We get more Quan back to back. Let's see. It's uh, Roomba. Round one. If the Quan wins up. Oh, that's punishable. Should have called him on tower a bit early if you want to go for that round start. Respect. Also distracted him. He has armor available. Cannot be pressing in that portal. Oh, this is optimal. This is optimal. Playing a bit more like Rother when it comes to ending the combo with sending Fort into trap. Well, what, is, oh. what is this stuff from Roomba? You are fragile. I mean, if a Quan Chi player can get things started and you really don't know how to move around the skulls and not respect the full screen presence, you are going to struggle. You see this? Standing four, portal, back in neutral. Ooh, nice standing three catch. And this team, Tanya Motaro, is just constant plus frames, constant in your face. Throw combo? I'm here. Oh, that is good. Okay, Not right much right. damage though. You though I expected the Nitara, but do you think it's a matchup thing? Uh, maybe? Ooh, big whiff! MK. Drop your combo, die. <laughs> Literally. And Rother is saying that Tanya hard counters Quanchi. Okay. I was not familiar with the matchup chart. Thank for again, keeping her away. Armor available? Don't swing. Ooh, break the armor. Interesting. Got punished on it. Oh, this is beautiful. Nice whip punish. Oh, Spinning three whip punish is insane. And perhaps with Roomba, we have another newcomer by the way, from Germany as well. Lives very close to me. What a conversion that breaker comes through, really? Yep. A newcomer that dude, these guys are just coming out everywhere to get these kills. Still alive, by the way. Ooh, wake up, poke! Uh, this could have been a trip guard. What's going on here? Floss, floss. Oh. Oh, God. What is that? One last to the and just like that, Redgrave sending Don't a statement. Even though this was a quite close round, in my opinion, we saw some great, great shoutouts between these two. But Redgrave in the lead now. Roomba, a character loyalist. I've never seen another character than Quan Chi from Roomba. Switch at all? The pyramid. The royal family isn't safe from me. It is as long as I'm still breathing. Round one. 
fight. Good start. Yeah, I chose the right button here to interrupt immediately. Oh, I see covering that airspace with the genitive as well. Oh, wait, armor activated? And now you get to go crazy. Ooh, that was ugly. But <laughs> yeah, Tanya's armor is double hitting. So definitely prioritize there over Quan's. Cool, this pressure. Single button pressure. I love to see this. Beautiful stuff. Does he have those? No more tower there for the throw combo like last time. I'm still close to the Okay, that was good. That was good. I mean, if you end the combo early, to get good positioning could be a double-edged sword, but if you can still get it, I respect it. And this Tanya player doesn't really go much for um, the buffs. Like the down forward three buffs. Just kind of odd. Single button pressure. Roomba. Seeing fireworks right now. Confused. Barriers up and not even the kick could went through this. <laughs> Red Grave needs one interaction and a half, and that's all he needed. Man, that was that was tough. I feel like Motaro just stops that full screen game. It honestly looks like a, a quite difficult matchup for Quan Chi. Fabs, do you think that's the case? Yeah, potentially. I think having Motaro is already good enough to stop Quan Chi's uh, full screen presence. But then also having Tanya with that mid and constant, uh, like, she can go for the plus frames of Motaro like, every single time. He can't stop it, he can't armor out of it. Quan Chi. Tanya. Janet Kane. 2-0, Redgrave sitting on sweep point versus our newcomer Roomba. By Argus's power, by Delia's might. I will blacken your soul till it's dark as night. Yeah. Round one, fight. And right in the show saying Quan pisses me off so much. I think Quan is one of the most fun characters to watch in the game. But of course, just personal taste, you know, everyone has his own opinion. I think playing against him, for sure, like, a hell. Definitely but frustrating. Senior Quan, yeah. The senior Quan Chi go for all these sequences, trying to, like, keep people away from him and go for setups. It's, it's pretty hype. But the thing is, once the character gets in on Quan, he kind of just, he, he just suffers dead. Oh, that was that, that breaker. Wasn't gonna do much damage anyways. Oh boy, that back too. Beautiful. Fado, that's death. That's Quan Chi's health, man. He's, he's always on 1 HP. 900 HP, a true glass yeah. cannon here in MK1. That started off with a back two as well. This might be close to 50. Yep. Have you nothing left? Round two. Fight. Good flawless block. And Quan can't do anything about that, by the way. 4 2 2 Motaro, he just has to hold it. Redgrave, the perfect pig against the Quan. Seems like today, Quans are not. Uh, Quan players are not happy today, man. Rotor might be the only the last hope left in this beef set. <laughs> oh. No way! And he yeah, actually he... armored through as well. Oh, our boy's dead. Finish him. Damn. Little walk down, no fatal though. Redgrave taking it 3 0 over Rumba today. And you know, a little fun side story for you, Fabs. Rumba reached out to me and said, Man, Rap, can, can I please some, get some easier opponents? I'm literally 1 to 9 this season. <laughs> Rumba, I'm sorry. But the overall level here in the arena, you know it, Fabs. It is super, super high.
So, but just like that, since we have a busy day ahead of us with the bonus set, once again, a big shout out to the community for always, you know, supporting us and asking for more. It is a great compliment at the end of the day. Coming up next, it is time for the king of all smoke mains, Just Nasty. I know you guys are waiting for it. Unfortunately, oh, yeah. we have a little schedule change. Ishmael... Uh, cut his finger and cannot play. Ishmael, I hope you feel better what? soon. But we have a replacement in the pipeline, Fabs. That means we're going to get a new player on stream for the first time. And I have no idea what to expect. His name is Attack. Like, literally, Attack. And attack. let's see if Attack is going to attack Just Nasty. Dremor. He's not playing smoke? Just Nasty is not playing smoke. Fabs, the YouTube side is going to riot. Outworld is the strongest oh boy. of all realms. Good. Thing is though, I'll break out world first to prove a point. You know how Melina trap Melina Lao had like the hard to blockables with the uh, overhead low. Imagine Melina Tremor. Oh, I know what you're cooking. Attack, you better be prepared to block. Oh, big whiff. <laughs> Just as he immediately starts cooking. What is this? Damn, could have been 44, I think. Goes for the clap. clap. What? That Movado? I like how he's using Tremor to neutral reset. Because just as he plays footies, he loves playing footies as well. So every time he gets a neutral reset, good luck hitting him. And this might be round. Oh, last hit whipped. I like this stuff. Round two. Fight. Gameplay is just reset neutral and back away, play footsies. And just Nessie is really on the tremor grind lately. I think this is his most cameo right now. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised because tremor is that one cameo that can give you good offense, good mix, good safety, and neutral resets. That's why I'm really looking into him for that. What a 44 mid screen attack. Oh! Been committed in. Matrix. Oh, that, I love that conversion. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nuji. Nuji, are you seeing this? Folks, you, you see the damage? It was 43, just like that. Off of like a, a grounded hit, I believe. That was sick. Ballsy oh, grab from Just Nasty and attack Grab combo! Able to take in time, throw combos on top of this. Just Nasty in the lead, 1 0 up. Oh, this team is saucy. This team is saucy. Melina wins. Perhaps, do you think the YouTube side is going to forgive us that Just Nasty is not playing smoke? But I mean, those are some crazy combos, right? Yeah, I know. He, he's kind of cooking with this Melina. You need me. Character switch you from need attack me. here. We're going you. Homelander. I would never entrust you with and our beautiful friend. queen, Regina, in the chat. Thank you so much for the two gifted subs. I appreciate you. Round one, fight! Command trap time. Not even a player like Just Nasty can react to this. The evil side. Sauce lander. Milk lander. Damn, he's going for all in. Now, what's the sequence? Overhead? Command grab? Oh, poke overhead. Only lost 0.5 health. Sauce lander is here. Round two. Fight. Oh, low. With punish. Mm. Oh, he got the combo down. Do you think if Just Nasty loses this, he's gonna bring the smoke? Oh, he's like, you're mixing me. I'm gonna mix you back. <laughs> <laughs> fire with fire. The parry. Oh. I oh, that was sturdy. Okay, attack. You have to relax a little bit. That does not work in Just Nasty, but I'll be playing. maybe it will. Who knows? Oh, the low side, the Nuki special. A block. Breaker comes soon. Yes, sir. Now play the neutral. Don't grab him. Do not command grab him. He did. 
Ghost Demon. Demon. Into Brutal. Oh, attack. Oh, attack. 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 Ghost. I, was, I, I have to give you the reminder again. This is the first time ever that we have a tech on stream. And this man calls for a brutal right away versus just nasty. I like it. Oh, we might see smoke pulling up today. Is it time to unleash the smoke now? That's the question I have. Let me take a look. Alonso saying that's crazy for a jump in. I agree. It is time. Oh, just nasty. He is pissed, Faps. <laughs> oh, now he's like, I got it, right, bro. He's like, he okay. made me bring the big weapons. Just nasty just said, let me sit up real quick. Let me teach him a lesson. Stepped out of a comic. Then you look like you should have fucking stayed hidden. Where the hell do we have 550 in the chat right now? Is there is there no, nothing better on Twitch right now, chat? That you end oh, up with, with a ball German. It's us. They need us. The tag here. Oh, poke special into overhead. And he immediately knew what to do. That's nasty. What? What the hell was that? I told you, just nasty is angry. That was invisible overhead or low. I don't know what button he hit. But he also put the, the tremor there to give him the safety of it. That was sick. Oh, boy. Overhead. Up block. Up block. Attack is a freaking sweat, Faps. So oh boy, done. attack. Round two. Up a game. I mean, up a round. Oh boy. This Homelander is here. Oh, I feel like um, Jeff Nasty is reading all of these like, poke into flag stance moves. I'm loving these tremor uh, conversions. Rare Homelander armor working. Command grab. A little on his 30% damage. Oh, he blocks low. It's kind of reactable because like, his arm is literally like. <laughs> he raises the arm like, like a girl. Like he's praising something. I don't know. Can't block right forever when he's invisible, but just nasty drop the killing combo. How rare is that? How rare is that? Perhaps he Game. doesn't even need the fake attack. Who is playing here for the first time? Is sitting on match Game point three. versus just nasty. I think that is what that is definitely unexpected. When I take a look at our chat prediction, by the way, we have 88% on Just Nasty and a lot of scared faces in the chat right now. More than half a million channel points. The cape? The powers? It's like you stepped out of a comic. Then you look like you should have and stayed hidden. Round one. Let's go. I mean, we have two options, chats. After one, it is an insane newcomer or it is a Heidi. A I, I, still have, level I, I still have a feeling who this is, actually. But I, I, I don't, I don't want to say really? it because I'm, I'm not sure about it. Yeah, but I have a feeling. No spoilers, no spoilers. Yeah, just looking at the thing. Big hit. Oh man, this guy is cooking. That's nasty. Can you get it? The heart's the block. Oh, wait for the drop. Into mix. Punish. Round two. Fight. Oh my god. The fact that he knows when to immediately interrupt that is beautiful. And attack continuing his reign of terror. Just Nasty really has to sweat in this one. Oh yeah. 
It's going crazy. Invisible mix. Get. Get again. Oh no. Never think you're safe. The Homelander out there making sure you're not. <laughs> Jump in. That is huge, but Breaker is ready. Oh, the 4 4 connects! And attack puts himself. Wait. Not yet, Fabs. Can go for a bigger sequence, though. Little drop there from Just Nasty. Needs a floss block, and he misses it. And now attack is on that point against Just Nasty. Fight. All right. Oh, what a waste punish. Or whatever that was. That, that definitely. I think he knew he was going to go for a forward score there. Overhead. Aftershock available and goes for the hard knockdown. Surprised it didn't combo, honestly. And now it's attack turn to go crazy. This might be a game five mix. Oh no, that's 40, that's 40. Three actually it's to be generous. Who? No kill. Perhaps. Cash Fatal out. immediately. Just nasty. No breaker inside. Still alive. Um, Wake teleport. Up, Wake up. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, teleport. Yeah, teleport. A hundred percent teleport there. Just Nasty is taking us to the first game five of the night. But Fabs, I think I speak for everyone in the crowd when I say no one expected this match to be that close. Oh, yeah, honestly, I didn't either. <laughs> and even though the chat keeps going crazy here, Ball German, thank you so much for the five gifted and anonymous gifted sub on top of that. We want you to go crazy real quick. Drop your favorite emote in the chat. We are going to set the arena on fire together for Just Nasty and Attack, who is here in the arena for the first time on stream and is playing out of his mind versus one of the best smokes in the entire world. I'm pressing that magic button right now. And Fabs, like I cannot wait to see who's going to take this. And you look like you Let's go. Game five. What a banger game five. Let's get it. Characters. Oh, that forward four. So good, man. So good. That's a low, very reactable. I think if you didn't like lift his arms, you could 100% react to it. But the animation was definitely intended to be able to react. Frames. Jumps over. Won't break. Accepts his fate. The drop from a lot of drops from him today. Not something you see a lot whenever he's playing. But just nasty managed to get this right. to match point now and one round away from. Honestly, props to attack for bringing this to game five because like I've never seen. I mean, I have seen just nasty lose, but. I mean, being it's a hard. newcomer versus Just Nasty and taking yeah, this to a game true. 5 is super impressive on its own. Not many people have taken Just Nasty to game 5, especially newcomers. Oh, we forgot he even had that the whole time. I think that's the first time he does Pharah on block. That was a crazy sequence. Oh, beats the poke. And attack is going to get his breaker. On the next sequence, I believe. Yeah, it's still a lot of damage done already. One mix away from taking this to a final round. And just nasty. One mix away from killing. That's punishable. That's it. That's it. No breaker. Just nasty with the tremor oh, combo. Securing the W, but boy oh boy, that was a close one. Finish him. That was super close. That was super Perhaps to attack for bringing it to game five, man. I, I, I know it's not easy. Because opening up Just Nasty in this game is ridiculously hard. But I think Just Nasty, he, he nearly regretted going Melina here for match number oh, yeah. one. 
You heard newcomer? All right, let me try my music. Oh, think, never mind. I'm back on smoke, y'all. I think that's what happened, Fabs. <laughs> I think Just Nasty was a little bit surprised as well by the overall level here. But what a match that was. A big shout out to both. Attack, thank you so much for jumping in and for entertaining so many people here in the crowd. Beautiful. But Fabs, there is more. We stay on the NA side of things. And coming up next, Honeybee versus Trash. Another Sin member on the big stage today. Give me your thoughts. World. Yes, Asher. I know the Asher today. All the Asher players are eating, man. If you like Asher or Quan, today might be your lucky day because you're in for a, a handful amount of good sets. Oh, jump three on wake up. It's a big damage. Oh, I love that conversion with the Melina size. Crash already went in the first interaction. That whip on hit. Oh boy. And something I've been seeing lately from Honeybee is the usage of the acid ball in neutral <laughs> to get a hit. He's been one of the few reptile players that like is found like the sweet spot to always get the reptile ball to work. Is it just me or all of that, uh, Crash's hits in this round came from a jump three? <laughs> jump three, four, two. Nice call out. Oh wait, that, how did that whiff on hit? That's the story of this game. A lot of things just... <laughs> oh, did they whiff on hit? He just got MK1. Okay. Chaos Rain. Chaos Rain. We'll save it. Let's go. Honeybee. In the corner now. What's the sauce here? Oh! Where's the Mavado? Oh, late Movado, and that might be. <laughs> We're talking about Ashra's Fatal Blood and a 950 oh. HP character. It, it, it's, it's dead. It's dead. That last, this, this part right here, just wait. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Every time I say wait, no, I'm wrong. It's going to kill regardless. Oh, he dropped that combo. The fact that he actually had the punish on the down forward three on block. Ashra wins. Well, that's game for trash. He takes those. Seventy-five percent of the chat think Honeybee is gonna take it, and we know that Honeybee is the master of comebacks and the master of adaptations. Oh yeah, that's that's something you can never count him out. Reptile, Ashra, Mavado, Treasure Chamber, Chameleon. I worry Serena is falling back into evil. We can't let her size off. Round one, fight! Good block. Good old, good old combo. Not much damage, but we need the setup. That's all we need. Armor out of it. Oh, not checking his toes. Oh, was that a proximity OS conversion? That's what Movado is such a good character if it actually works out with your uh, main. It's like all these little pickups you can get. So, so important in neutral. Breaker, Honeybee, out. Honeybee with a big life leap right now. I think Trash is looking for another robbery. Overhead, that's oh, yeah. the start. One more robbery. Goes to the Melina, he jumps. Jumps again, this is crazy. Oh, I'm telling you, man. These, like, meaty uh, um, acid balls and the way he, like, he's the only reptile doing this right now. Probably going reptile player as well, but I'm saying not many reptile players are doing that. Like, meaty ice ball, I mean, uh, acid ball. Oh, that was good. Yep, straight up punish. Input error from Honeybee. Crocodile Dundee. But there's so much going on again. Now, what are these callouts from both of them? Oh, man. They're definitely callouts. And I'm loving to see them here. Beautiful yeah, stuff there. The DP into Fenlift is such a. Like, I, we saw that a lot back in the um, last chance qualifier from Geek Exceptional. Like, he, look, he paved the way for the Ashra Chameleon. Oh, the punish, but doesn't capitalize on it. 
This matchup, this matchup is chaotic all over the place. Another jump three. 40 for a jump three! Glaive? He read the glaive. Smart. Oh, he punishes the... That was so hard to convert, though. The jump is good, but no follow-up, Fabs. There's the throw. Ow. Honeybee in trouble. Take another round with you. Whoa. Brutality. Ashram. With the up grab as well? That's insane. He walked forward and just threw him. Like, that's disrespectful. <laughs> oh, boy. Can you pull that prediction one more time here? Fabs, do you really want to see it? Do you think you can take it? Oh boy, that's that has to be like has to be like a twelve percent, thirteen percent. Okay, Fabs, here it is, seventy five percent, three hundred thousand channel points on Honeybee, and Treasure oh. sitting on Sweet Point. Twenty five percent is actually really good. Like, I'll do whatever a lot I of people are gonna eat. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Melina, easy 40. That move always shimmies people. Let's go. Crash should be not so crash after all. It is always fun when I see him in the upper ranks and there's just the name Trash, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but he is like, such is he a strong player. Him? Oh, not believing in the hit. He's got a Mavado combo. No, he's not ready yet. Ooh. Damn! You could have killed if you wanted to. Oh, you could have killed if you wanted if you wanted to. Dude, no way, no oh, way. What the no hell way, are these no jumps, Fabs? What is he doing? If you guys count how many uh jump kicks trash landed in this set, it might be around seven or eight. And we're only on game three. Again, this man is holding north all the time, yep. but it works. Like he's getting a lot of hits from that jump kick. I Again? Fire. Oh. Trampoline trash. So I'm calling him now. No, oh, no, these callouts are. It's getting out of control. Bro, what? Oh. I don't understand. Down Honeybee two? finally with the down two. Trying no to battle, enter. Though. Wait. Can he fatal blow into this? Oh, another crucial drop. What the oh. fuck? Break, break, break. I've never, no, no, I have no, no, never no, no, no. seen a player jump that much, but Honeybee just couldn't find the answer to it. This guy is insane. I love it. I love it. These neutral jumps, the reversal uh, Ashra DPs, insane. 3 0. Verbs, 3 0 sweep over Honeybee. I think that's the first yeah. loss for Honeybee this season. But Damn. Trash, that up button literally changed the entire matchup. And so guys, even though usually this would have been the end of the stream, the community asked for another bonus set and Fabs and I, of course, we're going to work a little bit longer for and with you guys tonight. Rotha versus Fire Axe is going to be a bonus first to seven. There was some shit talk in the chat and Fabs and I decided, you know what, we're going to settle back, it back. the arena way. <laughs> first to seven showdown. Fabs, give me your thoughts on this. Like... Who do you think is going to take it? Fire X, of course, with a strong start today versus Makoran, won the set. But does he have what it takes to beat a player like Rotha? Okay, so the thing is, um, I remember in the finals, was it Katana Khan or was it Val who might have sent Rotha to losers or beat him in the lower side of the bracket? So, I mean, maybe that's why Fire X is very confident because you saw one of his Sendal boys beat him. Oh, it's KK? Yeah. 95% on Rotha. Oh, I'm telling you, he's like, I think he's the main people's champ. It doesn't matter who he <laughs> plays. You will have at least like 20 people there dropping their money onto Rotha 100%. And perhaps the, the problem is, you, you know that Rotha is one of the beef set kings, you know? Yes, sir. Players are in the lobby. We are good to go. Chat, once again, thank you so much for the support.
Takeda. And he wait, he brings Takeda. Wait, not even the the Quan? Corrupted forest. Rofa is saying I don't even need my main character for you. That is that is toxic. Fast. He didn't give me this. Okay. Mission. Beef set scoreboard incoming chat. The red? Good luck, good luck oh. to both of them. Oh, the beef set scoreboard is actually pretty crazy. So you're telling me on Monday we had a five dollar beef set. And now on this Wednesday, we have a Rotor beef set. Arena is eating. First to seven, guys. First to seven. Because I have to pick up my sister in like 90 minutes. So if this goes to like game 15, <laughs> I might be cooked. Fight. Not 15, but whatever it is. Oh. Oh, this conversion! Sector! Wait! The Sonic Fox special! Sonic Fox was. Yes. What the hell? Okay. What is yes. this start yeah, yeah, from yeah, Rosa? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what, what you're doing, man. What is this start? Disgusting. Flawless? This is a flawless. Oh. Come on, fight. Guys, I told you, Rotha right, in yeah. beef sets is fight. different. No way. Double flawless. You know what? Double flawless. Double flawless. Um, what am I saying? I, I shall not speak this into existence. Oh, there we go. The armor saved him. The Firex got his first hit. Round two, <laughs> after 15 seconds of this custom pressure. Yo, what is this Rotor Sanctor Takeda team? God dang. Oh, it's nice to wake up Flamethrower. Oh, and he still boom, 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 boom. picked it up. Oh, no, he dropped it. <laughs> Stop laughing at our players. I'm saying this is all over the place. Oh, my God. No, this is crazy. Chat, this might have been the most insane uh, Rotha, don't do one it. I've seen. Rotha, do it. don't do it. Oh, no, we're getting fatal blow. Fatal is every single game. Oh, man. Might be a game 13. This might be a game 13. The way these guys are playing. Fatality. Takeda wins. One zero. One zero. Deep one chat saying Takeda is so downplayed. I low key agree. I low key agree. But the chat prediction is is kind of close, Fabs. Fifty four to forty six. Oh. If I can find the Yakuza's outworld connection, I will not have you sniffing around my empire. Extended set on. So far, like right, Sindel Lau. I think that's his strongest loadout. All right, different start right now. Oh, he's holding it, bro. The, his execution is insane. He actually held that uh, kunai explosion until fire axe landed, which is pretty cool. Deep one shot. In case you guys are thinking, why does not many people play the data? Of course, his armor is pretty slow. You know, a lot of unsafe strings. like that. Both are not getting shimmied. Oh, but Firex with way more pressure here in match number two. I tire of this. So Round the concept two. of this team is uh, he sets up the, lo the, the, the low kunai mid combo, causes a sector, and it keeps you locked down in that situation where you have to guess between a jump two or a low kunai explosion. I think that's what Sonic Fox was doing when I saw the team work. And he's still oh, that, was that was max range, I think. Okay. He ends with the kunai, and then oh, yeah, you have to actually like you're forced to be in that position unless you have like advancing armor or something. Yo, honeybee, thank you so much for the raid, my friend. Hope you had a great stream. That's it, hive. 
Shout out to the Hive. We are watching a beef set between Rotha and Firex right now. Rotha bringing a quite interesting combination. Takeda Sector. I heard Sonic Fox played that as well. Wait, went for the meter build sequence. There we go. I will never stop. Final round. Fight. Oh, beautiful. I think that might have been a safe launcher. I'll go to the up block attempt. Sliding those DMs. Finds the button to open him up. Fire axe. Needs one hit into mix. So. No, oh, none of them has breaker. I think one hit from either of them is going to kill. That's a three hit combo from full screen. I was not familiar. Sweep. Fills the space. Another low mine. Oh, wait. How did he evade that triple kunai? I think there was some Matrix type shit first, to be <laughs> honest. No way he hit. What? Why did he stop blocking? And Firex is returning the favor with some tea bags on his own. Oh boy, we have we have a set. We have a set, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Fatality. Sindel wins. <laughs> the show is saying Fabs is not gonna pick up his sister on time. <laughs> 90 minutes, guys. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Surely this is not going to go over 90 minutes. Even Don't if it forget. goes, I'll just text someone. It is a first to seven. I, I think we're, you know, we're going to yeah, make it. Yeah, it's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, but I also texted uh, my aunt just to make sure. and vigor won't win this fight. How about skill and determination? Rotha not going for a character switch yet. Round one, fight. I love these conversions. Beautiful. Oh, I like the jump to avoid the. I call it a kunai because of MKX, but it's actually a shuriken in this game, so I don't know why they did that. I love that everyone in the chat is asking about the lore here. Guys, it, it is Rotha. Rotha shit talks everyone. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Rotha does not <laughs> care. Man. I'm pretty sure uh, Firax lost his set against the Quan Chi. No, wait. Firax lost his set, right? I mean, Firax no, won no, versus Makula, and, and, yeah, Ro and Rotha started talking shit as always. That was crazy. Why, why, why would he talk smack against someone that just won 3-0? <laughs> That's the Rotha, Rotha way does. of life, Fabs. <laughs> this guy is crazy, man. Oh, that's gonna combo! Beautiful! The thing about Sindel is that Sector kind of shuts down her aerial mobility. Oh yes, Sector! No fly zone. Sindel airline, shut down. Nice tech. With punish. Wait a minute. He has breaker available. Woo! Instant jump float. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. You got Fatal Blow here, Rip. You got Fatal Blow. What is Firex gonna do? Is it gonna be a reset? Wake up, buttons! <laughs> like, cool stuff you're doing out there, man. Amazing uh, life story, but I'm just gonna wake up, buttons. <laughs> Did oh. you see how quick these t backs were? <laughs> no, I have to say, Rotha definitely has one of the fastest t backs in the MK1 universe. That, but this means this guy is always beefing. This is not a good sign. This boy is always... <sighs> Guys, okay. just, just look how quick they are even in the slow down replay.
who gave a toxic player this much skill? Luke Phelps. Luke. That's a problem. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this guy? Takeda. You know, other players practice combos in the lab. I think Rotha literally labs teabagging. Yeah, that, that's the level of, of stuff right here on it. Round one. Two one Rotha, first to seven. Don't forget, guys. Yo, Fimo, thank you so much for the resubscription, my friend. Safe. Every jump is safe jump against Cicada. I love that. Finds a way out. Oh, that Five. body too slow. We are pressing. Yo, Chief, thank you so much. Perhaps we are sitting here on a hype train with the community together. Beef set time, Rotha versus Fire Axe. We hope you enjoy the show out there. Oh, the check. Oh, that's punishable. Good defense from Fire Axe. Now overextending his offense in neutral and gets rewarded. If that was Rotha hitting that uh, fifth stride hit, that launcher might have been Drover. For fire axe. Oh, unblock. Misses the combo. Hard knockdown. Not at, not available. No, folks, the entire community is going crazy. Just a silent soloist is saying hello in the chat. True Lemstein, thank you so much for the 100 bits on top. And fire axe here with a clean oh, opening. Boy. His controller was out for a second and Rother was kind of like, do I press? Do I not press? And Frax just jumps in on him. <laughs> oh, he's mad. Rother is mad. The grab. Doesn't have sector available, so toss him forward. Wait, Wait a minute. It beats projectiles. It does it beats projectiles. I don't think it's gonna kill, right? It does 35? Actually, I don't think it does 35 because that's only the final part of the Fatal Blow. So, yeah, it doesn't do much damage. And that is so oh. smart. Rotha sniping Fire Axe out of the skies. Final Beautiful. The forward one tries to convert that, but doesn't really land it. I think that neutral is really, really well. I think he's playing a mix of keep away and also uh, rush down. Minus seven. Goes for the armor. Demonic stuff from Firax. Perhaps I cannot believe that there's so much hype in the chat right now. t Baggins, thank you so much. Just a silent soloist and everyone who's here with us. 650 people watching this on Twitch right now. A big shout out to the YouTube community as well. Shibit! Oh boy, Rotor. Not in a good position right now. Fire is one hit. Stop block! And that is going to kill. We get back to Bruto. We go for Bruto. But this is so even so far, like back and forth all day long. Do you expect a character switch from Rotha on the way? I mean, I don't think he likes the Quan on this matchup. I mean, there's definitely a lot of action here within the MK1 community lately, and we love to see it. Thank you guys so much for the support and for spending time with us today. You are not one of Earthrealm's champions. I have my own agenda, Empress. The chat prediction is so close, and a lot of channel points involved as well. Oh yeah, this is over, over a million, way over a million and a half.
Round one. Fight. This hype train is still going. Just a silent solo is keeping it alive. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. Nice conversion. Oh boy. Not going for the loud hat there on advantage. Oh, the mic for the. Oh! No breaker for Rotor, which means. He's gonna go for the mix or for the cash out? Go to the mix. Armor breaking, actually. No mix there. And Rotor lost the bar. And. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. If he no. brings this back, I'm gonna lose it, Paps. Yes, that's like a sector in the mix. Oh, but the wake up jump! Wake up instant jump. Round two. Fight. But I think this is definitely not an easy matchup for Takeda. I saw Magic T play this exact showdown versus Fire X in our Champions of the Arena finale. And Takeda definitely looked like he's in a rough position versus Sindel, especially in the corner. Damn. Remember the name, Takahashi. Final round. Fight. That comboed. Back to beautiful stuff. The sweep, build space, tries to read the movement, but good block there from Firax. Oh, and not patience enough. You gotta respect the sector in neutral, man. Hard knock. Did a safe jump attempt, maybe. Needs one more hit to get the kill. Sector guaranteed. Oh, that was, he didn't hold it. And again, the Matrix move from Firax dodging everything. This is yeah. not over. Fire Axe has been dodging shurikens at ways I've never seen in my life, and that makes it not go well timed. Oh, he's floating over everything. Oh, sector, Rocket's coming sector. down. Wait. No, he hit him. So he, because he hit the sector last minute, so he couldn't calm down anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Rotha again. Stutterbacks down to taking the lead, but so far, it, it's always the same. Rotha takes the lead, Firex then creeps up back into this match, and so on. Let's see if it's going to be different this time. Django saying, is this a first to ten? It is a first to seven. Takeda, Sindel, Sector, Kung Lao, the period. You are not one of Earthrealm's champions. I have my own agenda, Empress. All right, let's go. Game number six now. I think at this point we might have to really implement a beef set Monday, Fabs. The community beef is demanding Monday. it. You guys have to save all of your uh, rage <laughs> throughout the week, and then on Monday you tell us who has beef, and then we host every single thing. That combo is beautiful stuff. <laughs> I'm studying about these stare downs. <laughs> Wait, another flawless? No way. I know I know you're angry, Rotor, but you gotta be nice. First to seven, guys. I know everyone is asking. What's the first two? Uh, no, again, the Matrix dodge on these triple shurikens. Firex is able to dodge a lot, but Rotor is getting more and more comfortable. At least that's what it looks like right now. Tight there. Oh. Give me a challenge. Round two. Fight. Great combo. Yes, sir. Smart stuff. Full screen. I feel like Rotor uh, does better full screen against Sindel on this match specifically. 
Oh, Jesus. Is there no vertical hitbox on those whips? I was Damn. about to ask the same question, fast. It should have connected, but it didn't. Damn, MKX really did something cool there. But they, they said, no, no more vertical hitbox. You can jump on him if you want. Oh, goes to the low. Hey, up the up was so good. clutch. Fabs, so clutch. is it enough? I think so, right? I hope so. It's only 70 damage at the end. The scaling should be good enough. Yes, yes sir. Boom. Rotha, Boy. for the first time, able to win two consecutive matches. These <laughs> teammates are just too funny, Chad. I'm sorry. Someone in chat did say, having a beef set and then backing it up with Takeda is wild. I think so, too. Because, like, it's really hard to make him work. And, if I mean, if you can make him work, then I, re I really have a lot of respect. We still don't know his actual position on the tier list. We don't know if he's bottom three, bottom five, top 15. You have no idea. Sector Sub-Zero, Hanging Gardens. Liu Kang secretly sends more warriors into Outworld? He didn't give me this mission. Four to two. Rotha three matches away from taking it. Round one. Fight. Oh, the trip card. That was sick. Wait, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero, yep. It's time for the Monklizzy. And I love it so much, folks. Whenever I take a look, a little sleep peek at our chat, everyone is having a good time. And I don't know, it is just, you know, it is beautiful right. to see that everyone is just enjoying the game right now and smiling. Guys, I appreciate you. Beautiful thing, honestly. And that sector really is a good way to, like, oh man, that, that mine was still there. I had no idea. But the sector is such a good way to, like, shut down aerial mobility from certain characters like Sindel as well. So I really love that. Freeze, buffed up. Open up again. Is he gonna break? He feels confident. Breaking at this. Didn't call the sector. I'm surprised. Punish. Round two. Fight. Nice pick up. There we go. Did he end in setup? No, it goes for the full cash out. Oh, the whiff! I like that he's challenging the air to airs from Firex. Oh, that would have been a cold shoulder on block. I like that Rotha baited that Did little button like here or that little jump attempt. Final round. Fight. No hitbox on this bad boy fans. Buff my boy Takeda. Minus seven. Oh wow, this pressure finds a way to press, finds the right opportunity, and now we're back in Nooch. Conversions! Another one. That is beautiful. Oh, big whip! No punish! Back to connect again. damage from these throws it's adding up honestly expects the sector tries to make a turn but the whips the back two to close it out rother up five two <laughs> Zuna drop. Yeah. oh yes rother relax a little bit okay rother 
in the lead right now a lot of momentum in the back 5-2 over fire x and this is a first to seven set Wait, what happened? Fire X is, Fire X is not moving, Fabs. Oh no, oh no. The PC said, my brother, I give up. And he's back in front. Rotha is even <laughs> waiting. You know what? I respect that. The fact that he's back doesn't even like do a little countdown. He just starts with a fireball <laughs> immediately. <laughs> After the restart, Ooh. potentially coming back stronger than ever. Good grab. No, I saw that loud. up lock. He's going loud here, which means he really wants to play for that hit. Land that hit and then go for the mix, get half of his health gone, and repeat the process after. Oh, beautiful stuff there. Is he going to be able to break after the combo's over? No, he will not. That's death. Round two, fight. Oh, that's spinning one to like readjust the gravity so the missile hits and he's able to combo. It's beautiful stuff there from Rother. Not your turn yet. Oh, that again, the amount of times he's jumped over that whip string has been insane. The vertical hitbox on that is really lacking. Got combos, Rotor not blocking on the wake up. Loud had his back. Hard blockable, maybe. Ooh, <laughs> but the side. Able, not able to convert. Auto correction tricked him. Unbreakable? Yes, sir. And that was a very dominant game eight. Firex has three games now. Damn, that was good. Sindel wins. So is it time to switch characters on Rothas and he is still in the lead? You know, a little bit of... He can still play Takeda, of course, but I think a character switch... You don't want to risk it, Fabs, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's definitely... Go Takeda and close it out with this character or go straight to Quan and just try and, and, and cook. Zendel, Sector, Kung Lao, the Gateway. Liu Kang secretly sends more warriors into Outworld? He didn't give me this mission. Round one, fight! Yeah, to him. Good stuff from Rotha. Oh, that conversion would have been so sick on the fly. Finds the hit. Lao had available. You know what this means. Mix. Oh, he tried. Oh, he picked it up. No escape for you, brother. You have to block. You have to guess. Goes for the shimmy attempt. Rotha now has to overcome this massive health lead. Oh, what the matrix was that? Dude! How did the health lead just disappear? Wait, Rotha? wait, wait. No punish. Uh, he tried to enter <laughs> beautiful stuff, but once again, no punish on this. Bro, it's a full screen presence still. He needs the floss block. <gasps> oh, by the low! The clo Wait, the drop! No floss block. Oh, wait, that wasn't even a floss block. He just had to block low there. Round two. That was crazy. Rother somehow clutches it after being hit by the insane mix. Couldn't find the hit again. Firax loses potential. Game number nine.
Let's see. Oh, that was that was literally unblockable. Ain't no way you can block that. Roto not even bothering to even break in this. He's gonna hold it. Oh, but he tags forward though. That was a shove, a fire axe. Finally, it, it worked as an entire, at least for once. That's round. Let's see. Final round. Fight. Oh, that combo is beautiful stuff. So the mix-up there is either it goes for a jump in or for the low kunai. Insector makes it all safe. Rotho went for a neutral duck but didn't commit to it. Shimmit! All the sec. Oh, that was brutal. Brutal! Finish her. And just like that, we have Rotha on match point. 6 3 over Fire Axe. I gotta say, Rotha with an outstanding performance. Takeda sector looks super, super juicy. Yeah, we usually see Takeda Janet, Takeda Cyrax, Takeda Jax, but Takeda Sector might be the new kid on the block. And I'm so happy that apparently the chat is having a good time as well today. Thank you so much for being here, everyone, and for making all these events possible in the first place. Potential final round incoming. Takes a dim view of trespassers. Right. Game number ten, I believe. Fight. Let's see. Scrappy is saying the arena makes my bad days better, and that's exactly why we're doing this. Thank you so much for saying that. Make your days a little bit better, a little bit. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Our catchphrase. Back two. Goes for the trade combo. Beautiful awareness there of the sector as well. Nice stuff from Fire Axe. Hard to blockable. Not that hard to blockable after all. Rother. Impeccable defense right there. Be really careful swinging against these two characters, man. Oh, the back two connects. Zip stride. There we go. The mix again. Goes to the jump in, but doesn't combo into sector somehow. That might have been like a, a hit stun situation where everything hits you fast. And yes, said Rotha is playing Takeda for this entire set. One, tries to press, but the armor comes through, and the low hat seals the round. Fire Axe still showing signs of life despite being down. Fight. Spacing. Oh, this is the mix of a sector this save day. And that's a punish all day long, baby. No confirms into Scream so far. That's two that he uh, missed out on. Oh, it's gonna land! No punish. He's back to away. Beautiful stuff here. Fire Axe. Both of them one hit away from securing the round. Fire Axe one away from getting the whole game. Wait! Is that, oh. that is a punish! Rotha again with the perfect situational awareness here at the end.
Sad day, huh? Final round. Fight! <laughs> Go this button round away. One round away from getting the whole set. Close. Shut down the arena. Barak trying to keep the lights on for a few more games. Miss Flawless Watch. Okay. Oh, the armor. Nice stuff there. Punish the poke. Good awareness, man. He's still playing this at full like potential. It's full like output. Wait, we got one sector. Oh, he gets corner combos for just one. Use the beautiful. sector. I like that. Oh, but then punish the armor move. Fire axe. Wait, Rotha. Rotha, you have to relax. No sector, which means. Won't be able to mix here. Uh, the missile? The missile? The missile gets didn't bypassed! Didn't break the... Wait, why didn't that crack the armor? Because I think he got the hit before the missile connected, so the armor wouldn't be breakable anyway since he got the first hit of the Fatal Blow. Wow. Both of them securing rounds with Wake Up Fatal. And Fire X with a little teabag, a little taunt, and we go into another Fatal. Damn, he's fatally while down. He's, oh, Fire Axe needs to get two more in a row. Fatality. Sindel oh, that is such a beautiful comment here in the chat, Fabs. I gotta say that. Aspire saying, hello everyone. First time on stream after watching YouTube for about two years. I made a Twitch account just to watch Rips Arena live. Thank you so much for that wonderful comment. Welcome to the live arena. And man, that, that just put the biggest smile on my face. Thank you so much for taking the time to type that comment here in the chat. Fabs, I'm getting emotional. Beautiful stuff, Kevin. It's amazing. Thank you so much for the kind of messages, man. You guys really keep us going every single day. Kung Lao, the gateway. You are not one of Earth Realm's champions. I have my own agenda, Empress. Round one, fight. Rotha has two more chances before it's gonna turn into a final match situation, perhaps. Oh boy. Minus one. They hit all the hat. Interrupt. Fire axe right now. Going crazy. So many kunai's now. Now that I move is a, is a low, people are getting caught by it so much. up a wall of projectiles. There's some MK9 Sindel right now. Very, very slow pace all of a sudden. Ooh. That is huge. But Breaker is there. Fatal Blow available, so any... So Fire Axe cannot throw projectiles right now. Oh, man. Oh! There we go! Can't- No, 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 no! That could have been a punish from Fire Axe, I believe. That was like minus 30. A lot. <laughs> oh, that was so Open. bold from Rotha. And now trying to play the timer. Flawless block, but oh. not enough time. If you had one more second rip, that could have been a standing one into Fatal Blow. Fight. That block block was insane, but no time on his side. And Rotor on the set point right now. Once again. Oh, big overhead. Ends the combo short, goes to the grab, and the Lao is recovering. Oh, with punish! Oh no, oh no, oh no. You get mixed? I think oh, no. 
He just tried to get out of the corner. I think that was his only mission in that round. Good grab. What? Oh, what the hell is that conversion? Oh no, oh no. Fire axe. On your hands now. Full cash out. Armor breaker goes for the walk up shimmy. Go, connect. Oh, conversion. Mix. He jumps away. Intro oh man, jump. Sometimes jumping makes the opponent uncomfortable to land the conversion. So even better. Rother on set point. He's one hit. Oh no way, he finds it. I still don't understand why it doesn't connect. Like, there's literally no hitbox on it. He's dodging every, like, all these, like, EX tunis. People are saying uh, if Takeda cannot just armor out of the corner, I mean, he's going to be punishable. But I think a lot of scenarios that Sindel puts you in break your armor. Firex with more T-Bags and potentially another okay. Fatal Fabs. I, I said it a joke. We might go to game 13. We are right now on... Game 12. Let me take a look. It's, and again, he. Wait, it, it just doesn't six? connect. Wait, is this 6-6 six, six or 6-5? Six, I think it's 6-5. It is 6-5 six, six, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So game 12. And both in the chat saying, okay, I'm done. This guy is so freaking carried. Fabs, I think Rotha <laughs> is going. <laughs> I think Rotha is going for a character switch. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, okay, this is a good set. No, he says, okay, I'm done. This guy is so carried. What? Chat, we're unleashing the Dark Sorcerer. Oh, no. Oh, trip. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to manifest anything. But imagine he pulls the quad and he loses and he goes to the game third. I don't even want to know, Fabs. I don't even want to imagine. This quad better be the final weapon and close the set right now. Otherwise, this chat is going to explode if he loses. Two rounds here. All right, because Kwan also doesn't have good armor, just like Takeda. So if he gets put in the corner against Sindel Lao, he has to hold the mix, but with less health this time. It's okay, guys. I have like one more hour, so it's okay. The chat is still going crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support today. Fight. All right, full screen presence now. Gotta be careful for that thinning four. Gotta be careful for the jumps. Just one, shuts down all of that. Oh, I feel like Fire Axe is how to approach this matchup. And now, of course, Rotha on his strongest character. Oh, yeah. We're talking about one of the best quants in the entire world. Setup time, Fire Axe doesn't even know what's happening. He has no clue. The Rotha special, save the Quan for the last game. Zone of fear. Zone of power. Look at Rotha just shutting down the entire oh. screen, Fabs. Yeah, Fire Axe did not do his homework for this matchup whatsoever. Nice duck. Oh, that poke! You gotta be careful, man. His pokes are really good to keep you away. Not fast and frame data good, but good to keep you away. Don't press. Nice patience from Fire Axe. Break the armor in this, ladies and gentlemen, might be a mix-up into death. He armors! How did he not armor with Takeda, but he armors with Quan? Oh boy. Got to mix! Wait! Let's get a put in full screen. No floss block. No floss block again. Nice blocks! Yo, this defense from Pyrax. Look at all this pressure, but Pyrax, he has to press a button, otherwise you can't yeah. win the round. Oh no, armor is available. Is it? Oh! He can't break! He can't break! And that's that. Fabs, just like that, Rotha is oh, no. winning the beef set. 7 to 5. It's this switch to Quan Chi changed everything. Is he gonna leave before the bags? 
Honorable man, honorable man. He stays and takes the bag. You know, I respect that. I respect that. That might be the most impressive thing to say. Like, a lot of people lose a set and just leave. You know what? Hold the bag. Hold the bag in the fatal. Beautiful stuff. Rotha showing us why he's considered one of the best players in Europe right now. I have to say this was a super, super entertaining day of MK1 in my opinion. I hope you guys out there here on Twitch and on YouTube enjoyed it just as much. A big thank you to all players, to FireX and Rotha for the set here at the end of the stream. And of course to my boy Fabs for the insane commentary and for staying here a little bit longer than usual. Fabs, did you enjoy it as much? I had a blast. I hope you guys had a blast as well because this was a generational set. It was a good one. Yes, but of course, it's getting late here in Germany. That means we're going to send you over to another great content creator. Be nice in the chat. And of course, we're going to be back tomorrow with more MK1 League action and some spicy sets, I promise. Everyone, have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Bye-bye. But for now, we're out.